Game Fee is real. Whoa. Game Fee is back. Games, you say that games, every time games, that games, we just games, play games, a game. games, 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 and here's the thing about how real it is. It's so real that we even got sponsored to play it. Wow! <laughs> People who make games are paying us to play games. Yeah. Their games. Their games. Guess they have made it. Why? For us. And this one's a really cool one, too. Especially if you, like me, like to play tabletop role-playing <laughs> games, but you also like, like me, me, you don't like to have to prepare a lot to do it um this is right in line with your desires also if you like me don't want to listen to so many instructions yes this and, one's a good game for you and if you like me if you like nathan if you like me then you'll like, you'll <laughs> like this one do you like nathan do you, do you like me yes or absolutely yes um, you'll see that we have a Moobot command. Uh, if you type exclamation point game, it will bring up the link. Draz just did it um, <laughs> to the game. That it's it's a game by Monty Cook Games. It's called Stealing Stories for the Devil. And I'm actually going to show you a bit about it right now before we get started. Um, here we go. So this is the game on their web page. Stealing Stories for the Devil. The Perfect Heist. And I'm gonna read you this little first part here so you get the gist of what we're doing here today. Read it to us. Please. Please. Getting in, getting out, the disguises, the smooth talking and careful bluffs, the stealth, the hacking, and when the moment requires it, the quick action. And above all, the beautiful plan so carefully researched and crafted. Oh, you're good at it. You and your friends, you do the impossible. It's never as easy as it seems. Not like it ever seems easy, but you pull it off every time and you look good doing it. Bond, Ocean, Neo, yeah, they're okay. You're the real deal. Because yeah. you're not just master thieves. You're master thieves from the future. And better yet, you're liars. A special kind of liar, a kind whose lies come true. When you lie to reality, you change it. A lock someone forgot to check, a guard who looks away at just the right moment, or a getaway car that somehow goes just a little bit faster than it can. If the mission isn't going right, you change the rules. You take control of reality itself. And that's good because you aren't the only liars out there. Someone else is telling lies, and they're big ones, like end of the world lies, punching holes in the universe lies. It's not clear who they are, what they want, or how they're doing it. What's clear is that if you don't do something, it's all over, as in all over. So that's the, the essence of the game. Telling lies? Telling yeah, lies. No, like, papa. no papa. In this game, yes papa. I do want to say there's a lot of people in chat who were at um, Gen Con uh, the past couple of days and Genuine met Con? people who work at Monty Cook Games. And Whoa. so they were super sweet. So that's great. Nice. That's so cool. Yeah, and they picked up other games from them. So That's not a lie. That's not that's a lie. That's not a lie. Or is it? We uh, don't know. It's not. Or is it? Or is it? We don't know. Well, maybe it came true. Yeah, because we believed hard enough. Whoa. So we're going to be playing a impromptu little one shot of this game today for you. Um, we don't have, like, obviously a good TTRPG setup. So you're going to be looking at us sitting here like, <laughs> we're gaming. We're gaming. Yes. But it's going to be a fun time regardless. Theater of the mind. Oh, uh, we also got these cool, like, the game comes with your little character sheets. Yeah, and, and it also, Yeah, it also, like, comes with a nice little cheat sheet of, like, things you can pick for yeah. your character, like traits yeah. and things. Cool book with cool art yeah. in it. And, and cool instructiones. And its own set of dice. Yeah, and, and it comes with dice. Of dice. It's got lore. It's a pretty, it's a pretty sick and slick package. Yeah, I comes must in say. a cool little box. Nathan read sick a bunch of like the slick. the story and said that Just it was a lot like of fun. Favorite yeah. Omega. But then if you don't want to read the whole story, there's like again this little create a liar sheet. Um, so you can get in quick. You yeah, can, it shows you like all the things that you need <laughs> to set up your character. You can lie about yourself and make a new character. Yo, the best <laughs> lies. Yeah. So it's like super easy to just jump into a game for people who maybe don't want like a lot of 
set up and fuss. It's and, nice. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to jump into the game. Yeah. So the setup here is that Nathan, Karina, and Julia are going to be playing essentially people from the future. Yeah. Agents from the future. Yeah. <laughs> who have found themselves back in our timeline aboard a spaceship because some stuff is going a little strange. There are these areas called improbability zones where things are a little bit weird. Like maybe objects are like disappearing or moving on their own, or maybe there's an area with just too many birds, or it's kind of like SCP adjacent. There's yeah. like weird stuff going on. <laughs> but in these areas, there's one object that's generating the improbability zone. And their job is to go in, infiltrate these areas, retrieve the object, and exfiltrate with the object to return the zone to normal. So that's like the crux of the game. Yeah. Um, I it's would, a heist. It's a heist. It's a heist, but you're heisting a weird object <laughs> to make things stop being weird. So it's a heist. So it's a heist. Um, so I would love to start talking about our characters. Um, Nathan, do you want to go first and sure. introduce us to your character? Yeah. My character's name is Will Enelson. And um, I'm I'm uh, I'm smart and perceptive. I'm like a, an archivist, sort of a bookworm type. So already a lie about myself. Um, and uh, I I have some special <laughs> skills that uh, include <laughs> stealth, history, searching. And handling animals. If you uh, if you remember uh, the time we played, the times we played, you awaken in a strange place. This this part is sort of similar to that, where you they give you a, a list of skills and traits to choose from, and the ones that you're good at, uh, you get a you get to roll a larger dice. Yeah, yeah, those. yeah. Um, and I'm I'm weak. I am not strong physically. Yeah, every character also has a like disadvantage. It's called their detriment, and so that is a uh, Will Enelson's detriment. Yeah, is being weak. Uh, and my side goal is is I just want to learn. I just want to learn about this this wacky time in the past. You know, you can you can really you can get a sense of it from reading the history books, but you don't really understand until you live it. So uh, when when they were like, "Hey, we're sending a." interdimensional ship through time and space i was like yeah get me on that i want to be a part of i that, want to be actually. a part of that <laughs> little did i know i'd be doing heists with these these two have you talked about what will enelson looks like uh i love just like a quick descriptor i set. drew sort of i drew sort of a little picture oh, oh yeah let's... what i did not draw a little picture why would i do that there he is whoa <laughs> good, good scratch out good all sorts of scratch i scratched out. out a lot of stuff we i was using a pen so i made some choices and then regretted those choices and, and tried again uh, uh all right let's go to julia next julia tell us about your character yeah so uh my character's name is uh tim mcgraw Tim McGraw, of yeah, course. Yeah. Um, I'm under attack by a cat. <gasps> I'm not, yeah. So. <laughs> oh, it's changing both. Oh, no. You need a new instance, Jacob. <laughs> I'll, I'll fix it. Go ahead. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm Tim McGraw. Oh, no, we're um... both Tim McGraw. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do I shoot? <laughs> Uh, I'm intuitive and eloquent. Uh, I'm the um, I'm the, the the planner, which allows me to lie to things in like a physical space. So oh, like, oh, I didn't talk about what kind of liar I am. Oh, do you want to do that? No, you finish yours okay. first. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> so it says, I'm just gonna read what it says here because I like it. It says a planner might get through a locked door by determining that the lock is old and easily breakable. A planner's focus is space, physical reality where thinking beings dwell. Planners are sometimes called architects and engineers. So basically, I can say like that um, 
the the metal on uh, like the hinges on the door are weak i'm gonna break them so that the door breaks down and that's that's the stuff that i can do <laughs> um so i mostly focused on um being like perceptive in a different way like i'm intuitive but i also kind of want to be like a, a little jerk like a little scamp yeah um so i wanted him to be like a showboaty magician sort of man so he's eloquent so you can like work a work a crowd you know he's like yeah, yeah. Uh, actually <laughs> um, <laughs> the most eloquent thing you can say yeah, um, actually, well, people love it when you say that yeah yeah, yeah. um <laughs> i have skills in like masonry and machine repair and electronics um unfortunately i am pretty brash so that, that's not great no, i would never have guessed that <laughs> um and my goal i just i i want to sound smart i'm not very smart like yeah but you want to sound smart. But I want to sound smart. So I'm going to use so many eloquent words. <laughs> yeah, you're really good at that famously. Yeah. I'm really good at language and words. Uh, but yes, that's that's my character. Uh, Nathan, do you want to say yeah. your, your liar before we move yes. on to Karina? Yeah, so there are three different types of liars. We each picked one of the three. Julia, uh, you're a, a, I'm planner. a planner. I'm a plotter. Uh, plotters use knowledge. Plotters lie to the past. A plotter gets through a locked door by changing the past so that the person with the key forgot to lock it in the first place. A plotter's focus is time, specifically the flow of events of physical reality over time. Plotters are sometimes called clock watchers. You old clock watcher. Uh, you. They, they, they call me a clock watcher. <laughs> he watches clocks. Yeah. So Will Enelson lies to time, yeah. and Tim McGraw lies to the environment and <laughs> objects. Which brings us to our third character, played by Karina. Who are um, you playing, Karina? I'm playing as Taylor Swift. Oh, of course, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Duh. Yeah. <laughs> and I am the schemer. Uh, schemers lie to people. This will be my first time reading this. A schemer gets through a locked door by convincing the person with the key that it would be a really good idea to open it. A schemer's focus is consciousness, the mind observing both space and time. A person doesn't have to hear or even understand your lie in order for it to take effect. So I'm just I'm just lying to people like, like in real life. life. <laughs> I I have the least. I never play like TTRPGs, so I like to go the route uh, closest to to myself <laughs> that I can play really stupid. Yeah. So I am both charming and fast, and I have skills in deception, running, sowing confusion, and sleight of hand. Unfortunately, I am clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> Very so confusing. Funny. And uh, my side goal is to look cool to the rest of the team without looking like a tryhard. I love it. You gotta look cool. Yeah, I don't have a good image of what Taylor looks like per se, but but she's she's just a little guy. She looks she looks younger than what she actually is, so people don't take her seriously. And, that's and find their, her, like, they let their guard down easily. That's their downfall. Yeah, idiots, stupid, you look <laughs> dumb. <laughs> uh, so now, before we get started, I'm going to deal out three of these mission cards. Mission cards! Are we allowed to player. read them? Um, you, you should keep them to yourself because it's more fun for storytelling if you can like reveal them okay. unexpectedly. Secret mission cards. Um, but I'll show some of them to you, the chat, as examples here. Um, these are basically cards that the players can play during the game um, that will let them do get, get little fun bonuses. Like this one is, and I do it with style, and it turns any success into a success and, which is basically like a critical success. You don't need to see it, but I've already started doing this. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah! yeah. Um, and there's other ones like, uh, I'm better than you think. Turn any failure into an almost, or an almost into a success. <laughs> so things like that. I like that this game has almosts. Yeah. Almost as if you roll like right on the challenge rating of a That's task. That's cool. 
Um, so I'm going to shuffle these up a bit. The I, sirens are going to go by. I yeah. forgot to say what my character looks like. Also, it's, it says that Joy is Tim McGraw. <laughs> 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 uh, which is very funny. Um, my, my character looks exactly like Faith Hill. Great. Just exactly like Faith Hill? Yeah. You know, it's... He looks like Faith Hill. Thousands of years in the future. Yeah, yeah. I thought, okay. so Tim McGraw looks like Faith Hill. <laughs> Yeah. Is what you're telling me? Yeah. What, what's like the outfits? I want to know about outfits. Um. People are gonna to want to draw these characters. Jeez. Future nerd. Future nerd. Yeah. yeah. Just give me like an aesthetic. Um. Tech wear, but with a little bit of silly. Yeah. <laughs> silly tech wear. Silly tech wear. Just a little bit. <laughs> a little silly. And uh, uh, Julia. Um, just a dash of silly. I'm like cyberpunk, but instead of cyberpunk, I'm like cyber cowboy. Cyber cowboy, got it. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna give three cards to you, and you can look at them, and uh, but don't read them out loud, so we can keep the element of uh, surprise here. Some of these can only be used in certain acts. This is a three-act game, so if you have one that needs to be used in a certain act, you know, feel free to to jump in with it when we're on that act. Um, okay. Are you all ready to get started? Sorry, I'm reading. Yeah, go for it. Read. Yeah. Also, Jacob, thank you for uh, yeah, GMing Jacob for us. Yeah, did most of the work. You're he welcome. He truly did. I'm excited to do it. Good job, Jacob. It's fun to learn a game, especially one that, like, vibes with my own sensibilities for wanting to play a game. Like this is one I could see playing just like with rando friends that come over <laughs> that don't because they won't under, need to understand a lot to do it. Yeah, you're stealing stories for the devil. <laughs> What's there to understand? Do we know character pronouns? That's a good question. Will Enelson? Uh, he, him. I'm going to add it. They, them. They, them. Let's scoot that over a bit. Tim McGraw. The, Tim more like them McGraw. <laughs> 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 I'm still be able brawl. to just lie and do a heist. Now we just get pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> and Taylor Swift. Uh, she they. She they. More like Taylor Swift. Swift. Taylor Swift. Got it. Okay, let's let's make this a little smaller. You're both Taylor Swift together. Just kidding. <laughs> what are you talking about? It was over both was of over you both for of a us. second. Let's make this all I was a just smaller. goofing. I was just don't. Do I was just doing. So Why would you do that? That's just sort of Will Enelson's sense of humor. I need to look up Tim. He's McGraw very songs. perceptive. Ooh, that's too small. He <laughs> perceived. Little. That it, it, uh, something in the in the stream and made a a, a comment on it. Good for him. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we're gonna get started on Act One. This is like the the briefing. Ooh. Okay. So you all find yourself in the mission briefing room. We're we're on a spaceship, by the way. Yeah. Uh, the name of which I don't remember, so I'm gonna make one up. This is the um, the SS Dalmatian. Yeah. Okay. It's a spaceship that has returned from the future back to the 21st century, and we are uh, investigating these anomalies going on the world over. Do you guys want a piece of paper for notes? Oh, are we supposed to be writing this down? No, I don't know if you want to. Can you just hand me my... No, the book you're holding? <laughs> I'll just pull out... Sorry, this is my John Tech Disco book, so no one look! <laughs> Does it still have the gnome on the cover? No. no. <laughs> that was for a one-time bit. <laughs> it served its purpose. I will never do a bit as good again. <laughs> That's not true. I'm sure you will. Just you wait. Just in case you want to write. Yeah, something. yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yep. All right. All right. Karina? At SS you. Dalmatian. Yeah, we're on the SS Dalmatian. Does it look like a Dalmatian? Yeah. Nice. They did design it that way to be cute. <laughs> Perfect. In the year uh, 30,000, where we came from, they make ships just like to be cute all the time. They think it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Um, even though it would be weird in the 21st century. 
So you're in the AI briefing room mm -hmm. and uh, you've gotten word of an anomaly. Uh, this anomaly is at an art museum oh. in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh. Um, <laughs> and something weird has been happening at this art museum. Um, some of the paintings have been getting rude. <laughs> Like doing, like doing like rude, like you look at it and it's doing a rude gesture <laughs> or like you look at one and like its butt is out. That's awesome. But then okay. you look back and it's normal again. Okay. Yeah. Prank paintings. It's, it's, it's prank paintings and it's it's starting to, you know, cause issues for the, the museum. People are accusing them of like fakes and forgeries mm. and, and things like that because the paintings keep changing. Um, so to, to try and um, sort of restore their good name they're having a a big opening uh tonight tonight where they're gonna have a bunch of paintings in there a bunch of people coming a big show and uh it might make the perfect distraction for you to get in and find the painting that is causing the issues so there's a lot of people inside the museum there's a lot of people inside the museum big event going on okay and um it's up to y'all to find the painting that's causing the issues and and get it out of there um, ideally without anyone knowing. So the way this goes in Act 1, it's actually a group effort uh, of coming up with the full situation. So I've given you the overview. Yeah. Okay. But now um, any ideas y'all have of like what else could be going on, what types of like structures there are, if there's anything like unique happening. Um, that, And it can also play into like skills you have if you want to try and give yourself an advantage. And then, and then I'll try to counteract with things that'll make it harder. Well, I got like masonry skills, so I feel like, you know, I can find like a side entrance no one's using. Um, I can run fast. I also have electronics, so if you don't want to be <laughs> spotted by any of that. Well, so this is less, <laughs> this is phone. less you, you're not planning what you're doing right now. Okay. We're, we're saying what is this museum like? What are its oh, features? Oh, oh. Very what is, walkable. What is around easily it? walkable. Okay, all museums are easily walkable. <laughs> I feel like it worked. I feel like behind, <laughs> behind the main entrance, there's an information desk. Very helpful people. <laughs> okay, there's an information desk. With yeah. helpful people. Okay, that's, I feel like there's again, more, museum. more security than normal <laughs> because it's the opening of a gallery. Okay, so you're you're making it harder for yourselves for me. Well, the security is people. Yes. Yeah, and two at least one of us is good at at people talk. I'm good at electronics, so if someone's watching those cameras, I could do that. You know. There. Yeah. Here's here's one. Okay. So there are security cameras and extra security. <laughs> That's not helpful. Security cameras We're and extra security. Just being realistic. Um, <laughs> All we do is make the game harder for ourselves, or just describe what a museum. Is. Also, every everyone in it knows who a liar is instinctively, and also everyone in it <laughs> no, has, has no. a bazooka. <laughs> no, those aren't allowed in in a museum. Uh, the museum has has this large uh, rotunda zone. Rotunda zone. In in the in in sort of the main, past the main entryway. Okay. Uh, that oftentimes has uh, some pigeons living in it. Okay, like up in the like up in the zone. Okay. Up in the 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 rafters. Um, there are passages accessible by employees to shortcut to different parts of the museum quicklier. Got it. <laughs> Employee shortcuts. Yeah. yeah, like at Disneyland. There's also um, like skylights in some of the in like in some of the ceilings, for some of the rooms. Skylights? Like there's a second floor, but maybe the second floor is smaller and doesn't take up all of the rooms. Okay. Um, I will add some things here. Okay. Um, there's a main floor, I guess maybe even, it's like a main floor where most of the museum stuff is, like the public floor. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. Above that is is offices for like employees and uh, you know, the, the curators offices. and whatnot. Yeah, you gotta have offices for your employees. One... And then below, there's a like the storage, like the art storage area okay. is in the basement. 
Is there only one art show going on right now? Or is there like multiple? It's like a like a big event show. So, so there's only like one. There's one big one that's like occupying the, the main floor. Okay. Do we know whether the anomalous painting is currently on display or in storage? We don't know. We don't know that. Yeah. Inform we don't. We don't know what the paint. Do we know anything about the painting? Not. Not other than it's a painting. It's. It's okay. So it's. It's one of the paintings. Yes. In the museum. One of the paintings, of paintings in the museum, full of paintings. All right. Yes. That shouldn't be too hard to figure out. But um, you. You will. You'll know it when you see it. Oh, okay. You'll be able to detect because all the paintings are acting rude, but there's one rude painting that's like making the other paintings be rude. Yes. There's one item. In the okay. museum, and it is and a it's painting. affecting the others. Yeah. Um, I feel like the crowd here would have a lot of like, you know, it's a lot of upper crust and social climber types. Mm -hmm. And even the people who are working the event know that if they like do well, this can get them like into better opportunities and shit. So everyone's just being a little extra nice and helpful. Okay, okay. Yeah, I do feel yeah, like you're welcome. You're I, welcome team. I feel like some of the uh the attendees um, you know, they're like a artsy crowd, so it maybe they're used to people being like maybe a little out there, more out there than usual. Yeah. Okay. So they're accustomed to weirdness. Yeah, they yeah. they're like we're, we're going to have some weirdos tonight, yeah. so be ready for that. Yeah, they're they're a fine arts crowd. They've seen a lot. Um, I think I'd also like to add in the rotunda area with the pigeons. The the rotunda is perhaps like a two floor atrium, and they've got like um like Cirque du Soleil like dancers like hanging from ribbons like doing oh, doing performances nice. like in the atrium. Ooh. Heck yeah. That's Are they cool. hot? And, and the atrium connects the first and second floors as well, so. Nice. God, what the fuck is an atrium? It's like a big circular room with like, you know, all the skylights yeah. up there and pigeons in the rafters and Cirque du Soleil dancers. Yeah, okay. I mean, I knew about that. So that connects both the first and second floor. Yeah. Okay. And then I think to get to the, the, the storage floor has higher security because that's where all the, the you know artwork is kept. Mm -hmm. So there's like an employee elevator that goes there and perhaps like entrances from the outside to that floor. I don't know if there are any. You have to like get down the, the employee uh, special elevator to go there. Mm -hmm. Have we talked about where the like security headquarters is yet? We have not. Where, so. where is it? We, we mentioned security cameras, uh, but the uh, the security cameras are being monitored through the main security network, which is located uh, in in a, a secret level between the the main floor and the storage floor that can only be accessed with security clearance like a got it got it <laughs> like a yeah it's more like a, a duck space it's just very okay. low low ceilings and that's like where all the security stuff is like managed yeah there's like one of those rooms with all the screens yeah there's there's yeah. got to be a room with all the screens and there's a guy in it yeah maybe sometimes a guy there's a there's at least one screen guy okay there might be more but there's at least one all right, cool. Um, is there anything else anyone has any ideas about for the for the place? Um, there's, I keep coming back to my animal handling, but <laughs> I mean, we got pigeons. Can we say that there's there's a a person doing like a piece of performance art where it's just like them and us and like a big snake? <laughs> what? There could be rats. I'm assuming there's like a cafe in this museum. I, I, I like big snake performance art. 
Okay, yeah, Honestly, with the Cirque du Soleil with people. the affluent crowd that we have attracted, who's yeah. going to stop anyone from bringing their big snake? As long as they get it cleared by security. True. Yeah. We're yeah, not I'm even a... sure if they're a performance artist. It's just a person with a big snake. <laughs> well, I was thinking they have the snake, like, like paint. They have the snake paint? Yeah. The snake is painting? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It doesn't have to be. Is that too, is that stupid? No. The it's, snake is it's a, painting. It's a person with a big snake and the snake is painting. I like it. got that. like a big like tarp set up on the floor. The mother and the, is mothering. And the, the snake, snake is painting. The snake takes the paint and like slithers across. Sure. <laughs> I love that. Um, I've had another thought as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a wing of the museum that is currently under construction. Ooh, okay. okay. Um, so like, how under construction? Like it's it's being built. So it's like beams and you know like half half built. There's like construction equipment. Like it's like a construction zone in your mind. Like hard hat wearing, uh, you know, bulldozers and shit. Yeah. Have they have they halted construction temporarily for the show? They've halted construction temporarily for the show, but there is security there. Okay. Even still. Even still. Um, okay. Are they giving out alcohol at this <gasps> opening? Food? Oh, there's food and booze. Okay. Nice. Okay. There's foods and booze. How Love that. much? Uh, enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How late to the shindig are we arriving? I think that's up to you. Like, at what point do you want to come? Like, because mm. you could you could arrive really early and try to like beat the crowd. You could try to show up at, towards the end of the night when people are like a little stumbly, but maybe security is more aggressive because people are getting rowdy. What do y'all think? I think that hmm. uh, we should show up early so that we can. Like, it, it seems like there are two parts to this. It's identifying. True. what the anomalous painting is and then extracting it so maybe we show up early to try and figure out what the painting is and then we can come up with a plan and enact it towards the end when everybody is a little more tips okay okay so we're showing up early to the party we're gonna be those people <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not that early. Come on. We can show up on time. Okay. Ish. Yeah, five minutes after it said on the invite. I mean, I'm a clock watcher, so I just like to show up on time. But uh, y'all can show up later. You all need to be together at all times. Okay. Then we need to show up all together <laughs> at, at a time that we can all agree on. I'm brash anyway. I would have been first on the door. Great. Get me in, coach. You sooner walk in, the door. Where's sooner the beer? I get to go to bed. <laughs> Where's the beer? <laughs> um, okay, anything else anyone wants to add? Open bar. Open bar. Oh, obviously. I just want to be sure. It goes without saying. Are you going to get the painting or are you just going to get drunk? <laughs> no, I just think it'd be like a nice thing to have for everyone, not yeah. even us, just for like the guests. It's a nice museum. Like, they should be doing all this shit for free. Uh, <laughs> is there, there, there going to the be. Man had no words. <laughs> I agree with you. There... I was just already trying to think about other things. So I spaced. <laughs> there's like a food, like a, like a food section, but there's also past apps going around. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What kind <laughs> You're of food? just like <laughs> listing your favorite things that happen at a party. Like, yeah, okay, this one's got like, open bars. And they have contortionists in the middle of the food station. And to Ooh. the side <laughs> is a bench made out of a big block of ice, and there's a big fur draped over it. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? Is, okay, so the food? apps are little grilled cheeses with little <laughs> tomato soups that you can dip them, and it's also like a little shot of yeah. tomato soup. But you don't have to get the tomato soup. It's in one of those little, like, fancy spoons. Yeah. Mm. The shot, yeah. And then there's also, like, some of the apps are, like, there's some little mini quiches mm. um, that are, like, vegetarian. Yeah. You and got they have some, flan. They have little flan. Flans. And then, weirdly and enough, cake. they're going to end the night with, like, individual <laughs> slices of pizza. It's going to be great. Oh, I thought you were going to say just, like, individual personal pizzas in the box. 
<laughs> from Pizza Hut. Well, that's how they got the slices. They got individual pizzas. Okay. And oh, then... and cups of fries. Cups of fries. I'm... <laughs> I'm going to leave for like five minutes to get all my thoughts together. Okay. And then we'll get to the act two where we're actually doing the heist. If we think of more apps, should we text you? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Please just message me. I'm going to yeah. write down some cocktails I'd like to see at this reception. Well, you better call, actually, so that I don't miss it. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'll be right back. Uh... Excellent. <laughs> So once again, thank you to Monty Cook Games yeah. for sponsoring this. Uh, we're very excited to play this game. Um, We've already begun the play. Yeah. We've already begun the play. Believe it or not, that was part of it. That's part of it. The collaborative uh, the briefing. Planning of the menu. Yeah, of the menu. <laughs> we had so many people in chat saying other games of theirs that they've played, and that's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, this game is really cool. There's so much like cool art in the books, and yeah. um, I don't know. And like you can have like a downloaded version, so you can play it with your friends online. It's really like very fun. It's very cool. Uh, I'm excited to get into it. Jacob's just placing the order for the apps. Yeah. Right now. To make sure that he got all of our requests in properly. Yeah. <laughs> what which which paintings are you most excited to see at the um, museum? I'm excited to see the uh Mona Lisa, but she's doing this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the museum in Atlanta got the Mona Lisa on loan from the Yeah, Louvre. it's on loan. <laughs> yeah. But she's she's being a little nasty. <laughs> Instead of Mona Lisa smiles, it's Mona Lisa nasty. Yes, that uh, that that combination of facial and hand gesture was uh, considered very rude in the 21st century. Yeah. Um, but back in the Renaissance, not so much. Very normal. Very normal. <laughs> what about you? The nasty Lisa. <laughs> the nasty Lisa. <laughs> Um, I'm excited to see Starry Night, but the stars spell uh, fart. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if they have some Van Gogh pieces, I'm excited to see the sunflowers, but the vase has tits. paintings yeah me too the melting clocks but all, all the clocks are set to 420 <laughs> except for the one in the back that has an erect penis <laughs> that's weird yeah one of the clocks does just have a a, a penis and the penis is erect <laughs> yeah <laughs> but only sometimes then it changes back <laughs> Um, and weirdly enough, that uh, that painting of uh, and what is it? Orpheus eating his son. Orpheus. Orpheus. Morpheus. The Orpheus. Cro Morpheus. Eating his son. Orpheus. Saturn. Saturn eats his son. It's Orpheus. Orpheus, Orpheus sings now. the sad song. <laughs> <laughs> and Morpheus is from the Matrix. Yeah, Orpheus. Morpheus. He do be eating his son. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing instead of eating his son? I don't know, he's just eating his son. That's pretty rude. <laughs> he's just he's just flicking his off while he eats his son. Like what are you gonna do about it? Don't tell me you're a parent. <laughs> Morbius eating his son. Yeah, it's just the same painting, but it is Jared Leto Morbius. Yeah. He's, he's morbing his son. <laughs> It's morbing time. We were just talking about the paintings. We're excited yeah, to yeah. see. Morbing time eats my son. So you want to see? You want to see Morbius eating his son? Yeah. yeah. Um, There's okay. also Starry Night, but the stars spell out fart. Yeah. yeah. Farty night. Farty night. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'm I'm ready to go. 
All right. Um, for people who have come in <laughs> late, I'll just do like a little quick recap of where we're at right now. Okay. Um, you late. These three are playing agents from the future who have come back to our time to solve these anomalous occurrences that have been happening, creating these improbability zones where weird stuff is happening all over the world and it's being caused by these objects in each location. So it's their job to go in, find the object causing the anomalies and then get out with the object. Um, we got Nathan as Will Enelson, Julia as Tim McGraw and uh, Karina as Taylor Swift. They each are liars who are able to lie to reality to change reality itself Just with their like special powers. Life. Uh, Will Enelson can lie to the past to change what has occurred previously to affect the present. Tim McGraw can lie to objects or the environment to change what's around them. And Taylor Swift can lie to people to change what they think or what they do. That's you. That's you. Um, and we are just getting ready. We just had a briefing for the anomalous zone, the improbability zone they have to go into. It's taking place at an art museum in Atlanta, Georgia, where the paintings are being rude. Um, sometimes you look at a painting and it's doing a, a middle finger or it's got like a, like a, a butt out. Or sometimes like, it's Morbius eating his son. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's Morbius eating his son. It's not sometimes supposed to be Morbius. Sometimes it's Orpheus eating his son from <laughs> Hades the game. And sometimes it's Orpheus from Hades town eating his son. It's a really weird one, that painting. I think that might be the one. Oh yeah, it could be. It's um, sometimes it's Morpheus eating his son, Neo, <laughs> from the Matrix. It changes every time. Yeah, yeah um, that one's changed the most. But all our agents know for sure is that there is one painting in the museum somewhere, whether it be on display, in the storage, somewhere in the employee area. One painting is causing all of these anomalies and they have to go in and find it. Uh, and on this night, the night that they're going in, it happens to be the night of a big grand opening Julia's so bored. She's yawning and dropping. I'm things. sorry. Um, <laughs> She's just brash. Yeah. I'm just, I want to get into it. We're doing it. I want to eat. Tonight is the night for the of past a, a big grand opening. They, they're <laughs> unveiling a new exhibit. And so everyone is coming in. They got food, they got drinks. And our agents have just arrived. They've been beamed down from the ship, the SS Dalmatian just outside the improbability zone so you're outside the museum maybe like a block away and we um, get dropped off a block away because you can't get teleported into the improbability yeah. zone oh. you can only get close yeah so you've just arrived outside the museum cars are pulling up people are getting out they're dressed to the nines they're ready to have a good time but it's just a few people right now because you're a bit early the, the doors have just opened about five minutes ago i'm going in um, so I'd, I'd like for you all to discuss how you want to enter the museum. <clears throat> I don't know how to talk to anyone if I'm already in. I'm, I'm holding a... Come back. <laughs> you didn't go in. We have to go in together. I've got like a, an ebook that's, that's titled um, Early 21st Century American History. And okay. I, I'm just sort of um, tabbing through it and I go... You know, in the 21st century, people uh, sometimes referred to Atlanta as Hotlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. Um, I just want to do whatever you guys want to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm excited to to see. <laughs> Uh, some some art some some works of art. I'm and... coming back to you guys. I'm walking. Oh, you yeah. were you never left. We have to move together. We have to move together. That's part of the rules. <laughs> Do we have tickets to the show? I, I thought it was open entry. So open know. entry. Do you have tickets? It seems like there's someone taking tickets at the front door. People are showing up and handing over pieces of paper. So can any of us lie about having tickets, or does it have to be the one about objects? Or the one about past. It's up to you to find the creative Fuck. solutions. To, I mean, you can uh, you can talk to yeah, the ticket you, person. You could talk to the ticket them person that we already gave them our tickets. <laughs> you could lie to some paper to make it become tickets. I could lie and say that we were given tickets in uh, the past. Yeah, I'm gonna grab. Can one I lie like... about stuff that happened on the ship? <laughs> what, what do you mean? 
<laughs> like you, you can only lie about things that are in your field of vision oh, okay. at present moment. Question see tickets. Yes. Is there a person like handing out like pamphlets about the show? Yeah. Okay. Um can I take one from that person? Yeah, take a pamphlet. I mean I take a pamphlet. But you have to roll, it's a very hard <laughs> challenge. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna take a pamphlet. <laughs> <That's my joke. laughs> and I'm gonna tear it into threes and I'm gonna uh uh make them I'm gonna say that those are the entry tickets. So you wanna lie to the tickets, lie to the pamphlet papers and, and make them into tickets. Yeah. Into okay. the into the art show. So the way lying works in this game is lies always work. You don't have to roll to see if they work or not. But depending on how plausible they are, you have a higher risk of taking damage or getting injured if you try to lie about something like that's crazy. Like if you point to like a piece of gum on the ground and you're like, that's the Statue of Liberty, that's going to probably do you some damage to do. But paper becoming tickets is not a very difficult lie. Um, so we will say it is a, a easy lie. So okay. I need you, Julia, to roll a d6. Okay. And, uh, and beat a one or two. Uh, it's a four. A four. It's a four. That's so a four. You, you look down at the at the pieces of paper, and they are <clears throat> perfect replicas of three tickets to enter Ooh. the museum. All right. Nice. Uh, Taylor Swift, Willie Nelson. Uh, <laughs> it's pronounced Swift. Swift. I'm sorry. It's okay. It happens a lot for some reason. Uh, Will Will Anderson. Yes, you thank go. you. Thank you. Here's Very good. Thank you. Uh, all right. Are we uh, good to go into the show? Yeah. Think? Yeah, let's go into the yeah, show. Go. All right. No better time than now. All right. You walk in the doors, and um, there's there's people already filling up the space. Um, mm -hmm. Looking nice. They're getting drinks. Some apps are going around on trays. Which ones? Uh, there's little grilled cheeses yeah. with yes. um, <laughs> dipping tomato soups. I'm grabbing one. <laughs> and um, various things like that. Uh, there's a bar like off to the side. What do they have? It, it's an open bar, <gasps> so you can get whatever you want from the bar. Ooh. How long is the line? The line is, it's only like maybe six or seven people right now. Okay. Um, further in is uh, sort of the main attraction right now. Uh, the main atrium of the museum sprawls <laughs> upwards two floors and there are, there are dancers ribbon dancers hanging from the ceiling what? doing spirals and twirls and uh and things like that um but it's a little bit of a damper on the situation um because there's a lot of pigeons up in the <laughs> rafters and they keep like pooping down onto like the dancers <laughs> and the ground why is this allowed uh they must be hard to get out of there i don't know how you how you get the them atrium's out. closed in it's closed in but it's City really pigeons tall. Um, and I don't also, think this is normal. There, there happens to be a um, a snake charmer sort of performer, um, a person with a big snake, and the snake is doing paintings. <laughs> um, oh, we don't want to disturb the artist. Yeah, what a fucking crazy idea. But Who would snake, have come up with that? The snake keeps getting distracted by the pigeons because mm. it, it really wants to take a chomp. Um, so as the if any pigeon comes close, the snake is sort of like eye eyeballing the pigeons. So. Uh, that's the situation. You also see there's like a lot of security around. There's um, some stairwells to the sides. There's different wings you can go to. Um, and a very heavily guarded elevator as well. How heavily um, guarded? There's two guards that look like they mean serious business. They're, they got the sunglasses on, the earpiece. They're standing like this. And they're not smiling. <laughs> And they're not frowning either. <laughs> they just—they look a, scary. A perfectly neutral expression. <laughs> perfectly neutral. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, what would you like to do? Hmm. <laughs> I got a feeling Will has a lot of thoughts about pigeons and snakes. <laughs> for some reason. So, what do we have to determine first? We have to determine where the painting is. Yeah. Right? We, yeah have we have to. We have to figure out what the anomalous. The anomalous painting. Yeah. Do you think the animals would have a vibe as to like that thing's super wrong? Well, how would we tell? You can handle animals, but you can't talk to <laughs> I them. I don't. Yeah, I don't have the the the, the fifth edition spell speak mm. with animals. Um, <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, in the twenty first century, uh, 
there was a, a, a resurgence in uh, tabletop role-playing games. People what? were looking for a means to escape the drudgery of daily life. I have and, a question. Yes. <laughs> I'm good at electronics. Yeah. Does that would that allow me to like look at a camera and then see where the wiring would lead to to like a security room? Because then we could use all the cameras. I, you can to try show to. Us. I, mm, I thought the skills were like not magical. True. Well, it depends on um, I don't know how good do you know electronics. <laughs> Can you see? If you can't see the through walls, <laughs> um, it might be difficult to unless to you know. mix it with a lie, an object lie. Does anyone else have any ideas? Um, I got us in. Yeah. Um, well, I, I mean, I think I think first first and foremost. Yes. Um, I'd like to take a look. It's just sort of the paintings that are on yeah. display. Okay. And see if there's anything unusual about any of them uh, using my encyclopedic knowledge of uh, paintings yeah. from, okay. from history. So you, you walk around the, uh, the main atrium area uh, looking at the paintings on the wall. Some of them, like one out of every 10, is doing something a little rude. Okay. Mm. Um, but you're not feeling the um, the sense that any of these are the object you're looking for. Any uh, of the ones in the... The ones on the main floor seem to be all affected, but not the origin point. Interesting. I... So one of my traits is that I'm intuitive. Could I say, like, the painting that is causing all this the painting that we need would have a bigger or smaller crowd or like if they would still keep it in storage or would that not like well they don't know okay um the people who run the right. museum yeah this is okay. like happening to them but they don't know about like improbability zones they don't know this is all like secret stuff got it got it so they so, just know something weird is going yeah they on. know something weird is going on they just don't know what why it's going on yeah they probably think they're haunted or something mm. are there any friendly looking employees around maybe like someone maybe not a security person but like a curator or something there's one um sort of like kind of gives you um intern vibes <laughs> and, and, and okay. they have a look on their face like they're standing really tall and like looking around like like if anybody needs anything, like they look very open and eager to communicate. Yeah. No, anyone else? <laughs> <laughs> they see you turn away and their their head drops down mm. like this. But on the other side of the room, <laughs> you see um, there's a there's a man who is um, he's standing tall, looks very stoic, has a little bit of a goatee. He's wearing like a turtleneck with a blazer, and um, and he's standing. He's he's looking around imperiously, like he's uh, you know looking over things, like he. Owns the place like an imperial would. Oh, like a, like like he's royalty or something. Okay. Can I go schmooze with him? Yeah, you want to go talk to him? Yeah. Okay. Let's <laughs> begin. How do you approach? Um, <laughs> you see this hottie across the room. How do you approach? <laughs> <laughs> eh, pass. But. Uh, I, I approach him just like any other patron of this party would. Just be okay. like, <laughs> why would I approach? <gasps> I don't approach people in real life. This is this is causing me a real challenge. He's looking at you now because you've been staring at him for a while, and so he's made <laughs> eye contact with you and is like, <laughs> No, no, I'm blowing it. I'm blowing it. <laughs> uh, in the social uh standards of the 21st century <laughs> staring for a long period of Shut time up! Is... <laughs> but i'm charming remember i i give him a smile and a little bit of a nod and i approach and i say hello <laughs> <laughs> come here Hi. often <laughs> no 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 <laughs> how are you um enjoying the show so far oh i've always wanted to see this gallery um do you work here? <laughs> I do, in fact. How could you tell? <laughs> you have an air about you. Would you say it's imperious? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Many people have told me this. That yeah. I have an imperious way of saying it. It's not a word a lot of people know, but I know it. And I would definitely <laughs> describe you as that. 
<laughs> well, yes, I do work here. I'm actually the um, the curator for the Renaissance paintings department. Oh gosh, I twirl my hair. Um, you know, I I feel a little bad asking about this, but I've heard some really interesting rumors about like some stuff that's been going on here at this museum. Something about paintings being a bit acting strangely. It has been a little strange. I haven't seen it myself, but many of the employees are claiming, allegedly, for he like legal, looks around for legal reasons. <laughs> allegedly, for legal reasons. that some of the paintings have been have been changing, mm -hmm. uh, and then changing back when they when they stop looking. I, it seems crazy to me, but. Um, it's been said by enough people that we have to take it seriously, unfortunately. I mean, I've heard that that's happening, so I have all the reason to believe that's what's going on. You got any, you got any ideas? Like I said, I haven't seen it myself, so I, I'm not too sure. It could just be superstition running wild. It could be... Are you sure you've never seen it happen? Are you going to try to lie to him? <laughs> I should, shouldn't I? That he's seen it happen? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, do it. You can if you want yeah. to. Yeah, do it. Okay. Um, well, this probably won't be too difficult of a lie, I imagine, because he's seeing paintings all the time. It's like his job. Yeah, so, we just got here and we saw some paintings being rude. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we'll say you're, you're, this is a lie. So we'll say this is like a, a three, four difficulty lie okay so you want to roll above a three four to not take any any pain that uh, painting of the lion with the sleeping guy the lion just like sort of goes over to him and like humps him a little <laughs> <laughs> Huck. three that's a three so a three is um an almost but the lie always works so with a lie you do still have to take an injury die unfortunately what? So you lied to him successfully, um, but you are hurt. The way injury works in this game, we got these D10s that only have an X on one of the faces. And every time you roll to do something, you have to roll this along with it. And if it lands on the X, you automatically fail because of your injury. Ugh. So you lie to him successfully, but you feel like some, some feedback in your head when you do it. Um, almost like... Um, something here was like trying to, to push back against your lie. It's the painting. Um, and so he kind of like, kind of like does this a little bit and then he's like, <laughs> well, now that you mention it, um, I did see one strange occurrence, but it was nighttime when I was walking the halls of the museum. It was night at the museum. It was a night at the museum. <laughs> um, so my eyes could have been playing tricks upon me, but I, I do you know that painting of the, the man and the lion? <laughs> oh yeah, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> I know the name of it, but I was just describing it so that you would understand. <laughs> I also know the name of it, okay, but thank so we, you for giving me that in. There's no need to say it out loud then. <laughs> yeah, that would <laughs> be useless know. information because we both know. A very um, imperious way to describe that painting. Yes. I, I did... The thought I did thought I saw a pretty so sad. <laughs> I did I did think at one point that I saw the lion um engaging in in almost some sort of fornicative gesture <laughs> with the man. Um but obviously I, I looked again and it was it was normal, so it, it could have just been a trick of the light. I would I I feel like it would be strange if you saw bestiality occurring and it wasn't like a trick of the light or it was a trick of the light. Like why it says more about you, you know, I think well, it must okay. be real. I think it must be real <laughs> is what I'm saying. Whether I believe it's you. real or not, it, it doesn't affect, you know, my job and what I have to do. So. I mean, it would be kind of bad for the reputation of the museum if you were haunted by humping lions. Well, what would you suggest I do? I don't know. So, where is this lion painting? Well, after I saw... That we know the name of. After I... Yeah, well, we know. <laughs> yeah, after I saw... It's famous. The, um, Us art people know. The lion <laughs> performing that gesture, I, I figured... Even if it's not real, perhaps I should, you know, do use all due caution. So I moved it down to the storage hmm. room, uh, where it might be safer. 
Is there a large private collection down there? Oh yes, it's where most of our art resides that is not currently being shown mm. on the floor. Is there any way I could get down there to view for investigative purposes? Oh, heavens no. Why not? It's strictly employees only, and not just employees only, but high-ranking museum officials uh, that are allowed down there. It would simply be too big of a risk to just allow any common riffraff down into the storage room. I thought that we had <laughs> we were getting along better than that, but I guess I'm just common <laughs> Do you? Well, I like Riff Raff. Oh, do you? I do. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. What's but your name not again? down in the storage room. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's what's your move here? I got it. Like, what's the goal we're aiming for? I guess we want to get down to the storage room. I can try and create a distraction using pigeons and the snake. If okay. we want, if we want to go that route. <laughs> Nathan wants to use that snake so bad. Do you want to try to use pigeons and the snake to create a distraction? P -p -p pigeons and, and the, the snake. snake. Yeah, uh, I would like to grab one of the um, one of the mini grilled cheeses and sort of hold it up in a beckoning way to try and get as many pigeons to sort of come to to me. <laughs> okay, you're trying to summon the pigeons yeah. to you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that'll be like an animal handling I, yes. check. Yes. Okay. Which you're good at. So I'm you'll, good at. So I roll, roll a, a D8. I roll a D8 for that. Um, so I would say getting pigeons to come to you <laughs> with well, if you have with food, food. I'm trying to decide if it's an average or a hard check. <laughs> I think it's probably average because pigeons want food. Yeah. Yeah. And most of the people are being very furtive with their food so the pigeons don't get the you know we're not yeah we're not talking about gulls here you know right. they're not they're not snatching stuff out of their out of their hands like a freaking gull at the beach yes but uh if i if you know i can i can indicate with my body language that it would be okay and acceptable for these pigeons to come which you know how to do which i know how to do from my many years of dealing with future pigeons of course which are much more vicious yeah, yeah. you kind of like bobble your head at it yeah i do a little <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I, I do a very <laughs> subtle Cooing sound. Uh, should I? Shall no, I do yeah, it. Give, me, give me a roll of a D eight, please, right, because know. you're good at that. You need to beat a three or four. Oh, that's a nat eight. That's maybe. a nat eight. So that's a wow. that's a big success. It's a success and. So all the pigeons, you hold up the the crust of bread, and the pigeons, as one, turn their heads <laughs> and they see it, and they recognize in you like one of their own. Wonderful. Like they feel that you are a pigeon as well, and one who has brought gifts. And so um, six pigeons in perfect synchronicity fly down to you and they, they perch on your shoulders. And you now have uh, pigeon pauldrons. Pigeon pauldrons. <laughs> three pigeons on each shoulder. Great. As you feed them the, the bread and the sandwich. Great. I would like to now repeat this process, but replace uh, grilled cheese with pigeon and replace <laughs> pigeon with snake. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> the ultimate betrayal. Circle of life. <laughs> Damn! You're okay, well, be because you got that natural aid, these pigeons trust you implicitly. Yeah. So I think <laughs> normally it would be hard to to like get a pigeon to be calm while you tried to give it to a snake, but in this case, the pigeons they can't imagine you would do them any harm. <laughs> And so they trust you. Yeah. So it's going to be an average uh, challenge rating. Again, and, and, I'm, and, and I'm I'm using the pigeons to beckon the snake. Okay. Not, not, I'm not feeding, I'm not sticking the pigeon <laughs> in the snake's mouth. I want okay. to get the snake's attention to come to me. <laughs> okay, sure. So That's a four. So it's, a, it's an almost success. I'm going to use one of my cards. Okay. What's your card? Uh, I'm better than you think. Turn any failure into an almost or an almost into a success. All right. In that case, it's a success. All right. Um, so you've beckoned the snake. You have pigeon pauldrons and you've beckoned the snake successfully. <laughs> I'm standing with Taylor Swift, wa Swift watching all of this happen, just going, that's cold. <laughs> yeah, like I can't believe 
He did that. And now, so now people, people are already starting to turn to look at you because they think you're part of the performance. Yeah. Because you, the pigeons have like gotten it. Now they're thinking that the pigeons are also there intentionally. Yeah. It was on purpose. As part of this. Was... So people are getting pretty impressed. Yeah. Uh, and now what I would like to do is as the snake approaches me, um, have the uh, have the pigeons lead the snake into the crowd. <laughs> the, the pigeons, like, in a line? <laughs> Are they, like, marching? <laughs> um, no. They just lead the snake into the crowd. They lead the snake into the crowd. The snake is interested in the pigeons. Okay, okay. And and the pigeons are my friends still. <laughs> yes. We, we'll just all go into the crowd together with the snake. Okay, yeah. B bring the snake and the pigeons. What is, what is the effect of this? So you're trying everyone's, to draw the attention. Everyone's looking at me and the pigeons <laughs> and the snake. <laughs> Okay, so everyone is, is looking at Will Enelson. Yeah. Um, as, he, as he spins, he rotates in the center of the atrium. Um, pigeons on shoulder. The pigeon's wings are out. And the snake is going around uh, in circles. Everyone is mesmerized by this display. Um, and, and you can see um, Taylor Swift and Tim McGraw. You're watching the elevator with the guards. Yeah. Uh -huh. You can see the guards' expressions subtly shift um, to indicate that they too are watching uh, this display. So they might be a bit more distracted than usual. Um, do you want to try stealing his ID? Who? The, the guy I was just flirting with? No, the, the, it's one of the security guards we can get on the elevator um, to, the, to the security room. You got a sleight of hand. I do. Clumsy ass. <laughs> <laughs> but before we do my clumsy ass over there, I, I look at that one nervous intern and I whisper, do you have access to the elevator? <laughs> to the helpful intern? Yeah. The intern goes, oh, hello. Um, normally people say hi to me first before they ask me questions like that, but I'll, I'll just jump right to it. No. Oh. I don't. Um, it's reserved for the security and the higher ups. They won't let me down there. Um, also, my fingers are usually sticky because I, I like snacks and they don't want me to touch the art with my sticky fingers. Have I'm I talked too much? Use sleight of hand on the security guards at the elevators. Okay, sleight of hand on the security <laughs> guards. So you're doing sleight of hand. We're going to handle this separately. Your sleight of hand and your clumsiness. Yes. So we'll sleight of hand first. Yes. The guards are distracted, um, but they are security. So it won't be easy. It'll be average. Okay. I need um, to be careful with my clumsy ass. I'm going to use one of my cards. Okay. Uh, shrug it off. Gets rid of my injury dice. Fuck you. I hate you. You're uninjured? I'm wow. uninjured. Ooh. Nice. Nice. <laughs> okay. So just roll a, uh, a These D8. cards are fun. Yeah. Yeah, I like the cards. What do I have to roll? You have to be a three and or, or four. Oh my god. That's a natural one. No! no! I'm using my other card. <laughs> it turns a failure into an almost. Okay, okay. Chris is spending all her cards in. <laughs> I'm risking it all on this elevator. <laughs> into an almost. Okay, so you sneak up, you sidle up beside one of the guards who seems the most distracted. Um, and you reach in and you're able to grab the key card. <laughs> um, but unfortunately, a guard from across the room standing at the other side sees you doing something strange um, and starts to like walk over your way. So I have the key card. You have the key card. Okay. Um, and now I do my next move. And anyone who wants to do a move can do a move. You have the key card to the elevator, but a guard is suspicious. Um, well, my first instinct would be uh, to scream and jump into the arms of the guard that I just <laughs> stole from. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. In a silly display. Okay. But that's charming, though. So what's what's the goal of this? Um so that he doesn't think I'm weird and that I was just being scared that I saw a snake. Oh, oh. so you want to convince the other guard that you just got yeah. scared. You were, you were sidling up because you were scared. Yeah. Okay. I was just so scared that I saw a snake. Okay, I don't think you need to roll for that. Oh, it's, thank God. Um, 
It's just screaming and jumping into the arms of a guard. Yeah. I've heard of an armed guard. But, but the, in the arms, in the of, the arms of the guard? <laughs> now that one's new. All right, so you scream, jump into the arms of the guard, and the and guard goes, oh, are you okay, ma'am? I very loudly say, oh, I'm so sorry. I just got so scared when I saw that snake. Well, that's understandable. I, I too, must admit that I experienced some fear when I saw the snake also. Wow, we have so much in common. <laughs> I look at the guard that was eyeing me before. That guard like squints his eyes and then slowly backs back to where he was. <laughs> and the guard holding you says, I'm, I'm a married man. I wasn't implying that. I'm going to get down now. Okay, thank. I think that'd be best. I'd yeah. be more comfortable with that too. Tell your wife I said hi. I don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk away. <laughs> All right, so you got the key card, no <laughs> suspicion. What's the move to get down into the elevator? Okay, so right now I have the key card and am normal. You're distracting everyone, everyone. by doing this. This with pigeons and snake. <laughs> and, and Timo, what's, what's your move? We haven't got a move from you in a while. Um... Well, I think I should going go going really good. I think I should go down to the security room because I have the electronics stuff. Yeah. Okay. How are you going to get on the elevator with the without the guards being You need help. You, you all need to go together on this elevator. Yes. You need me to jump into another guard's arms. <laughs> Hold on, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> and keep in mind, too, that, like, we ha we purposefully haven't fleshed out every detail of this place. You can say that there's, like, something else in the room, if it makes sense, that you can interact with. Like, yeah. you can build A the world. A second open bar. Build the world, uh, you know, as we play in it. We're all kind of, like, doing it together. If you need, I can do... You know how in... Um... Which Black Pink song was it? Boom Bao, where Jenny does like the jump into the other members' arms sideways, and they are like all three catch her. I can do that with both guards by the elevator, so okay. that they both are holding me, <laughs> and it gets really distracting. Yeah, and um, I can give you the the security card before I do that. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that can be our plan B. That could be our plan B. <laughs> For Blackpink. Yeah. Is there like a big potted plant in eye shot of the elevator security guard? I don't see why not. Yeah, there absolutely is. Is there a what? A big, big potted, potted plant. plant. There's a potted plant. Yeah, like there's a big, lots of like potted plants. Like a big plants. one? That's a huge one. potted. Biggest one you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking massive, dude. You I don't fit, know what to tell you. You can fit so many plants in this thing. This thing is crazy huge. Um, <laughs> Just spinning with the snake. <laughs> you know, in the 21st century, people didn't have uh, the, uh, the, the nanobots in their brains to help them with uh, stability, so they would have... Someone doing this would would have gotten very dizzy. <laughs> I hope he's muttering that under his breath. We don't have like little earpieces. Oh yeah, that, sure. Uh, we can talk oh, to yeah, each okay. other. With. Yeah, we do. Why not? Um, well, I notice that uh, the uh, pots that are holding these giant plants, um, one of them. Uh, is just at the end of its life because there's like a big crack in it. Mm. Okay. You know, this big stone planter is cracked. Oh, you've and got a crackpot idea here. I do. <laughs> and um, it's it's finally, it's the it couldn't hold out anymore and it breaks and the big plant in it falls into the room. So you're telling a lie. Yeah. To the plant. I'm lying to the plant. Yeah. You're lying to the plant. Yeah. Okay, well, you said the pot is already a little bit um, mismanaged. It's yeah. a little bit weak. Yeah. So I don't There's think this is a crazy it. lie. I would say it's an average lie. Okay. So you can roll a d6 for me to see if you uh, take any stress from lying about this. You want to beat a, a four, a three or four. I have a three. Okay. You take an injury. Oh. Once again, um, and this is something that Taylor Swift felt earlier um, when she lied, um, you feel something like pushing back against your lie. 
uh, when you try to lie to the plant. It's not a feeling you feel typically when you're on these missions, so it's a little disconcerting, um, but it does cause you a little bit of mental damage. Um, but the plant does accept the lie. The plant breaks and it falls and it smashes on the ground. And as soon as it does, both guards from the elevator uh, rush that way to like see what happened and see what the problem is. So the elevator is in the clear. Oh, hell yeah. All right, let's call that elevator. <laughs> but but <All> right. real. <laughs> I, I release the snake and uh, pigeons from my thrall into the crowd creating chaos and then disappear <laughs> into it. Sounds good. Wait, I think can, that would cause chaos. Can you come to the elevator? Yeah. <laughs> I disappear into the crowd and emerge at the elevator. <laughs> you just phase in. <laughs> All right. So you make it to the elevator Yay. and you, uh, are you taking it down? You're trying to go to the security room? Yeah. All right. Well, you got the security guard's ID. Yeah. So you you're able to uh, use it to scan on the, the elevator scanner. And make it to the uh, the little subfloor security chamber. Wow! Uh, it opens up into a room just like we discussed earlier. It's one of those rooms with all the monitors, and uh, there's two guys in chairs that are like facing all the monitors, watching all the the stuff happen. More guys. And they're facing away from you. They don't even turn around because they assume no one can get in here, other than the guards that come in occasionally. So. Um, can I like sneak in and see if well we're any... all already in right right but like further into the room mm -hmm. and see if like on on the monitors I'm assuming it says like what camera it is um, instead of like you know camera one camera two it's like camera you know camera three camera four one of them's like camera one camera two but like number two as in poop. So it's like camera poop. Cause that would be like, it's, <laughs> it's all doing something a little. What are you saying? What the a little, fuck are a you little, talking are the cameras, it's a little rude. The cameras are also behaving rudely. The cameras aren't behaving rudely. Only paintings are behaving rudely. <laughs> I'm trying to see like, if the source of what's making everything rude would be so strong, it would make Okay. Even, even the cameras. Even the camera may be a is little the answer rude. no? I would say the answer is no. It's okay. only been affecting paintings. Making paintings rude. I'm trying to decide how we find out which painting Would it be is helpful to get these two guys out of here? Probably. Probably. Um, should I sow confusion? Y yeah. yeah. <laughs> you do have a sow confusion skill. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was funny. How do you intend to sow confusion? That's so confusion. <laughs> Should I jump into their arms and then lie? <laughs> <laughs> like, like in Blackpink. <laughs> if you... how, how does jumping into their arms get them out of here? Um, I'll work on that. No, we need a better plan. <laughs> The, I can, the game is like I, well, I need to, I need to get them all like I will lie. worked up. I would I want to get them worked up. We can, need to find like sort of like one <laughs> action that's the crux of what you're all trying to do and okay. then like resolve that. Well, cuz what are we trying to do in the security room? Can we already go to the basement area or is there I more was, security I there? I was going to use should... my searching skill yeah. to search the cam like the screens of the cameras for something that is more anomalous than just the, the rude paintings. An extra rude painting. An extra rude painting. But we need to get these guys out. I could try lying. Would, would a lie be helpful here? Well, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wanted to sow confusion and get them out of here. Well, <laughs> okay. My, my lie that I want to tell is that um, these guys, they're, these guys. They're, they're, they're buds. Okay. And uh -huh. they've, they've been doing this thing where um, they're, they're trying to just be healthier. And so they've <laughs> been, um, they've been, they've been sort of keeping tabs on each other. They're trying to do the thing where you like drink uh like the number of cups of water uh in a day 
that you can do. Yeah, you remember to hydrate. Yep, yeah. But they but they've mm-hmm. got they got the the number a little bit wrong, and so they've been <laughs> drinking a lot of water, and so they both <laughs> they both in the past drank a lot of water, okay. and so and so right at this moment. <laughs> They really need to both go to the bathroom. They both have to pee. That's they both so funny. they both really need to pee. <laughs> okay. Right I, now. I love that. Um, okay, so that's a uh, I've lied to the past. You've lied to the past that, that they both drank they a lot of drink. water. <laughs> they need to go piss, girl. Because, they, <laughs> because of their bond they share and their desire to keep each other hydrated. Yeah. They drank so much water and got a piss. Yeah. Uh, okay, I would say um, we'll call that an, an average lie. <laughs> That's an average lie. That's an average lie. So uh, maybe it's even an easy lie. It's not like crazy to imagine to that they imagine drank a lot of water. That two security guards both need to go piss at the same time. Yeah, I don't think because that's they've weird. been drinking so much water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Thank pretty you. normal. That's pretty normal. We'll call it an easy lie. Okay. So it's okay. just eat a one or a just two. Just eat a one or a two. Easy. That's a five. That's a five. <laughs> easy. Okay. So as soon as you um, deliver that lie to them, they both make eye contact with each other. <laughs> and like they, they both it's have a, a look of, of panic in their eyes because they both realized that they were each going to say, go I have to girl. go piss so bad. Um. <laughs> But then they like both started to say it at the same time, but both of them know that if either of them waits, they will piss their pants. And so they feel like it's probably fine if they just both go just this once and like leave the cameras unmanned. So they both stand up and they and they jog off, they go hop, 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 and jog off to the left to the security bathroom uh, and close the door. So you got a little bit of time to uh, to look at the screens. All right. Screen time. I would like to look at the screens and see if there's anything on the screens that can point in the direction we must go. Okay, so you want to use your searching? Yeah, and I, I assume we'll we'll focus on the the non-display images uh, or the non-display uh, paintings, like the, the the cameras that are in on the storage zone. Yeah. Okay. So uh, give me a roll a d eight. That's a seven. That's a seven. How so do you, you get all these rolls? <laughs> Dang. He's played a lot of TTRPGs, okay? <laughs> he's got he's a practice roller. <laughs> it's when it when it really when when stuff gets dangerous is when I'm gonna start rolling bad. <laughs> right now we're just uh we're just trying to find our, our goal. Uh okay, so you you look on the screens and you're looking screen to screen, um and there's two uh curious things you see. Um, one of them is from a what looks to be a very secure chamber down in the basement. Uh, there's a painting that's like isolated in a room by itself. A Roomba. Um, a Roomba. A Roomba. A Roomba, Roomba itself. A Roomba itself. <laughs> and then in the. Um, that's the lie I tell. It's a Roomba now. <laughs> <laughs> it's inside a Roomba. <laughs> no, it got brushed up. <laughs> You take so much stress from that lie that it kills you immediately. <laughs> Darn. Darn. <laughs> um, and the other curious thing you see is you notice that one of the cameras is in the head curator's office on the second floor. That's the guy I met, right? You he- met the, the Renaissance art curator. Oh. But the head curator is a different guy. He runs the whole, the whole shebang. Did we see him while we were upstairs? You didn't see him, or at okay. least you don't know him or so maybe he was there or her you haven't met them yeah um so you see the office of the head curator and there's one painting on the the back wall behind their desk Mm -hmm. um that's all by itself and um you just you get a weird feeling from from that as well these two like isolated paintings so there's one that's isolated by itself and one that's isolated in the head curator's office yes um can i check the computers to make sure it's not like oh can i like unlock the door that leads to it oh yeah do some hacking you want to yeah. do some hacking Hacker i'm gonna man. do some hacking because i have man. uh an electronic skill yeah okay so you want to unlock the door that leads to the one that's in the basement yeah yeah you can do that so that's the d8 as well. oh i also have like a, a dimaggio oh so you have to roll you your... have to roll that one as well okay 
So just don't roll. Oh, damn it. The G8. The G8 to this one? Yes. What did I have to be? Um, I would say that this was uh, average since you have electronics, so beat a three or four. Okay, I got a four, no injury. Okay, so okay, that's so an that's almost. an almost. Um, so you. Oh, all of there. Yeah, Sorry, it's fine. <laughs> you can put it on my desk. You managed to <laughs> hack the door successfully in the basement, um, but when you hack it, it lets out a loud beep as it opens. <laughs> Um, and a guard who's wearing like, <laughs> like a like a bulletproof vest and like a helmet and has like a gun, uh -huh. he immediately like enters the room and he starts like looking around uh, Can see suspiciously. Us? Well, no, you're just looking from the camera oh. in the security room. But the guard is now like on alert about that room. I'm gonna jump into his arms. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, is he in this room? I know what I'm about to do. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> it's not too late. You could run into the bathroom. Or jump into... <laughs> While they're at the urinal, they have to catch me with their dicks. <laughs> and hold me up like Jenny in black ink. Uh, okay, so you have a choice now. You can either go down to the storage uh, area in the basement and try to get to that one painting that the guard is guarding, or you can try to go to the second floor and make it into the head curator's office to investigate that painting. What do y'all want to do? Hmm. The door is unlocked, but there is a guard on alert. But you're pretty good with guards. Yeah, they love me. <laughs> yeah, they find me helpless. <laughs> you uh, you keep referencing the 21st century band Blackpink. Yeah, have you read about that one? Uh, yes, it was very popular. Yeah. And the music was... Uh, as they would say. As they would say at the time, bops. <laughs> the music was bops. It was bops. People would refer to their songs as bops. Um, and where's the other one? In uh, the second floor office. The head curator's office behind yeah, where their, the employee their chair. Shits are. Mm. Do we know? Is that one locked? You don't know. Yeah, you could try unlocking that door also. I'll try unlocking that door also. The head curator's office door. Yeah. Uh, you you try to do it, but there's no. It's not like digitally oh, connected. Okay. Oh, that's a yes. Uh, some some doors in the 21st century were still they still used uh, analog keys for. Hmm. Can we see on the camera the doorknob of the door? You can't. The camera's like above the door looking yeah. into the office. It was worth a shot. Yeah. It's all right. I'm sure the door's unlocked. Um, <laughs> so we... Okay. Let's just pick one. Yeah. Y'all y'all feeling, feeling strong about... I mean, you unlocked the door. I did, and I bet you I can unlock the other one if it's not locked. Yeah. Okay. I mean... What's the worst that'll happen? We can do both. Yeah, okay. It's just which one do we do first? I feel like the curator's office won't get us immediately shot. That is true. That's and that true. other guy's on like alert. Yeah. And has a gun. Yeah, maybe we could, let's mm. let's wait him out. Yeah. Going yeah. to the curator's office. So that sounds maybe good. gets less suspicious as less stuff happens. Yeah, sounds Fair like enough. a plan. Happens. All right, so you want to head up to the second floor. Yeah. 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 Okay, so coming back out into the atrium, it's easy to see the staircase that leads up to the second floor, which is the employee offices. Um, but that area is like cordoned off. It's not as heavily guarded, um, but it's got like a do not enter sign with some ropes. Mm -hmm. So you get the sense that if you go up there, probably someone's gonna notice you and like ask you to leave or to be like, you can't be here. Um, mm. And the so, elevator doesn't go to the second floor. No, the elevator doesn't go there. It's it's just these stairs. Hmm. It's, it's not ADA compliant, the building. They need uh, to really work on that. Where's that stupid little intern? Oh, yeah. Maybe the intern can show us up there. So I want to come up with like a full plan before we do the, we decide what to roll. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> He's reining us in. We find the intern. We find the intern and trick him into showing us around upstairs. Yeah, may, be, f- sort of flatter him up a little bit. Yeah. Be like, I, be, I bet you're important enough to, sh- to give a, a private tour to, yeah. some, to some wealthy uh, collectors and potential investors in this museum. Can I make us fake IDs that say that we're like curators yeah. of a different museum that want to invest in this museum yeah you, you could um you could lie about the the guard id you have yeah. to make it into a different kind of id true but then maybe we want to use that id to go back downstairs then you could just lie it back just lie about i'm it gonna again. lie and say that the guard id is actually a curator id but i'm gonna hand it to taylor swift since Taylor Swift's the better talker. Um, okay. Um, um, I will have you roll, but it'll be an easy, an easy rating because it's okay. already an ID. You're just changing how it looks. So you just have to beat a one or a two uh, on a D6. So pass that, that box back. And roll, you have to roll your failure, your injury dice as well. Oh, you roll yeah. injury dice on lying also. Yeah. Okay. So... So you roll the with every you, roll. You, you roll the you roll the d6 oh, oh d6 yeah oh, oh what a relief <laughs> four <laughs> okay you you beat it and no injury and no injury so I'll you you lie to the id and it immediately changes to look like taylor swift is a visiting uh curator from That's another me. museum now where's that silly little intern? What's going on up here? He's standing exactly where you left him. Is there still chaos abound? The chaos has calmed down oh. now. Uh, people are watching the dancers. They're having drinks. The parties, you know. The sure. cat doing sure something doing somewhere. Stuff. The cat's being silly. Uh, I'll, I'm listening. I'll, I'll yeah. Listen. The party's picking up. Um, was that a rumble? Thunder? It might be thunder. It's rainy today. But yeah, the intern you can tell has like maybe had a drink or two. Inter- he's looking a little red faced more so Ooh. than he was, but he still looks very excited and he's standing off to the side, like you know, hoping someone will talk to him. Oh well, I'll go talk to him. Okay, go go up. I approach and say, "Hey, sorry about earlier. I was really scared about that snake." Oh, I totally understand. I I'm also <laughs> afraid of snakes and many things too, um, like bears, uh, large dogs, uh, small cats. Uh huh. When they're too small, it scares me. Are Are you afraid of curators from other museums? Oh yes, absolutely. But I have to put on a brave face because I have to meet them a lot in my line of work. I love your attitude. Oh, thank you. I'm actually a curator from another museum. Oh I flash, God! Oh I no! I my ID. Oh Jesus! Oh God! <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Oh, I was just really oh, curious if you could no. show us around upstairs. No! Oh God! It's happening. Can Sorry, you do what? that for me? What did you need? To go upstairs. Oh, um, you're you're a curator, you said, yeah. right? Yeah, can you tell by my ID? Oh yeah, that's a curator ID. <laughs> I see those all the time in my line of work. I know you do. Um, and, and who are these people with you? Um, they're my bodyguards. I'm an intern. <laughs> oh, my another intern. intern bodyguards. <laughs> oh, I, I relate to you so much already i know we'll be good friends yes <laughs> make nice you two my name's debus <laughs> i'm being paid in experience oh which was me a, too. a form of payment that was offered uh it is offered these don't, days don't tell him that that you're so right it is offered yeah. these days uh, if only some money were offered too but i would never ask for that and hey, school credit hey Debus. yeah of course can you show me upstairs oh yes um right away please follow me the the, the Debus will will do this <laughs> little thing i'm trying out I love it. It's really good. You could also say, uh, <laughs> please follow Mebus. Oh, that's good too. Uh, um, I'll, I'll think about that you one. Could, you, don't, you don't need to you know, try it on before you, before you buy it. But, um, okay, um, yeah. right, right this way, please. Mm-hmm. And then uh, <laughs> Debus takes you and he, he pulls the cord aside and he leads you upstairs. Thank you, Debus. To the offices. Um, arriving up in the employee offices, 
the first thing you notice is that um, many of the employees are up here and they have been partying aggressively. Oh, yeah. oh wow. So there's a lot of drunk employees. Like whenever there's a company party yeah. and you know, times have been tough, uh -huh. they, they, they've been throwing down. So there's yeah. like people, you know, passed out around. There's people arguing with each other. Someone's just crying. Oh, yeah. Uh, been there. In the corner. So Divas, are you not allowed to have fun with everyone? Or are you just like, are they treating you like they treat me? Are you okay, just Davis? an intern. Oh, I, I forgot to ask the head curator if I was allowed to have fun tonight. So I'm just playing it safe and trying not to have too much fun just in case. Yes. Golly, Divas, where is this head curator? Oh, the head curator? Um, I, I have to imagine that uh, she's probably out, um, you know, schmoozing and boozing, as they say, with the, the clientele. <laughs> I do say um, that. <laughs> um, down in the galleries, but uh, you never know. She might be back up here, too, to show them the offices, uh, like I'm doing with you. Yes. Aww. Schmoozing and boozing is a common expression from this time. What is the next step? It here? is. We really get along, yeah. you and I. Yes. I agree with you. Divas. Yes. Cover your ears. Okay. And maybe hum, hum a tune as well. <laughs> do you want to right, keep like Debus distracted and me yeah, and Will yeah. will find the office? Yeah. And then we'll go yeah. in and see I'm, what they I'm got. I'm having so much fun with Debus, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> if we need to clear this space out, I'll sow confusion. I've been waiting all, right. all night to do this. Oh, yeah. This, is, this yes. is a great opportunity. Yeah. I just have a good feeling about sowing confusion up here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everyone okay, Debus. Oh, yes, Debus. You're doing great, Debus. I assume you were talking about curator secrets. Yeah, you. I'm sorry. It's just trade secret stuff. You know, like within our firm. If I had heard any of it, I would. I would pluck out my ears. Hey, Debus. I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> yes. Um. Leanne Rhymes over here has got to go use the bathroom. Would you mind showing her? Will me and Will will just stay here. Yeah. My name is Leanne Rhymes, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> it says so on my curator ID. Oh, I guess it does now that I look at it again. I didn't think it said that before, but... No, it did. Well, I have to believe you. You're a curator. Um, yes, right this way. I um, I will show you straight to the bathrooms with haste. Yeah. Well, and so Debus yes. begins taking you to the bathroom. Yeah. Will, can you, like... Statistically, where where's the most logical place for a curator's office to be? On uh, yes. Uh, if this museum is typical for museums of the 21st century, then the curator's uh, head curator's office should be located um, in the uh, the most prestigious place, which is the corner, the corner <laughs> office. All right. So I do you want to do you want to make like a history roll? Yeah. To see if you're correct on that. Yeah, for sure. Give me a give me a D eight, um, um, and I'd like for you this this seems like it would be easy. So oh, just yeah. beat a one or two. Wow, I wonder, I wonder if Nathan can do there? such a thing. D eight, just got to beat a one or two. That's a five. <laughs> okay, it's the corner office is the That's head five. curator's office. That's me. Thanks. Me when I roll a dice and it's good. <laughs> That's a five. That's a five. <laughs> So you, you've identified the office correctly. It is the corner office. It's the big corner office. All right. Um, we're going to... Can we try the door, see if it's unlocked? Is that what you're doing? Or are you asking Nathan? Uh, let's try the door and see if it's unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea, Nathan. So you go and you try the door. Um, guess what? It's locked. Okay. No, it's not. Ooh. I think in the uh, you know the 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 hubbub you know this uh, curator's intern over here was a little excited and forgot to lock it behind him. You know, interns yes. are so excitable. Well, you can't lie about that. Well, it's still unlocked. Okay, you can lie about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's unlocked. Uh, great. Um, give me a d6 roll. Uh, this will be an easy one. Oh. Because doors lock and unlock all the time. It's plausible that it'd be unlocked. It's faulty. Five and no injury. Nice. Ooh. Great. So it turns out um, oh, it's actually super my bad when I said the door was locked. Um, it's actually unlocked. You sound so yeah, you dumb ass. right now. So you can walk right in the room. Um, all right. 
you enter into the head curator's office and uh, behind the desk, the big um, glorious mahogany desk shines to a beautiful shine. Uh, up on the wall behind the head curator's chair, you see a small painting. Um, and it's a really interesting painting too. It's not one you've seen before. It's not the tiger um, one. It's not the tiger one. It, it's a painting of sort of like a little guy and he's naked. Oh. And he's like sitting oh. up. Oh. And he's got like a little gnome hat on. Don't detect this book. Oh. Do I just immediately take an injury? <laughs> Do you want one? Is that the it painting? Actually, it actually looks just like this. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, it looks that's, just like that's this. That's anomalous. That's an anomalous. We got to get that out of here. I, I identify it immediately as an anomalous. Is that it? Uh, and, and when you look at it, you feel a strange pull from the object. Like it's yeah. exuding a power. <laughs> um, and the, the gnome, as you're looking at it, is, is doing little... <laughs> And then, like showing it's his so butt, rude. showing his butt. It's Julia Core. Showing his balls. It's, pr it's pretty. It's his pretty balls. Yeah. And I and I'm missing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're we're gonna say that you like left the bathroom and then returned to the team at this point. Okay. Um, you, you snuck away from Devis. Yeah. Well, I made Devis 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 clean up all of the uh, drunk people and people vaping out of the bathroom before mm. I used mm -hmm. it. Of course, yeah. So yeah. I was like, I'll just come back when you're done. Have fun. How many different vape flavors did you smell? Like five. <laughs> yeah. At once. Cotton candy. From the same vape. It's a bit excessive. <laughs> Ooh. One of those multi vapes. I know. Gross. Before they were outlawed. <laughs> yeah. When they were still legal. So as you enter the room, yeah, um, to see the balls of the gnome and approach the rude gnome that you now know is the we source. Gnome. You gnome, it's the source of all the anomalous <laughs> uh, rude paintings. Uh, but right as you approach it, um, something unexpected happens. <gasps> what? The entire back wall of the head curator's room suddenly doesn't exist anymore. Oh. What, what? It's completely gone, and the painting that was on the wall is now in midair, and it falls uh, directly into the hands of what you immediately can detect is another liar. Oh. Whoa. Um, and he grabs the painting, and he says, well now, seems like a couple little birdies picked up on our trail, huh? What? Well, you're not going to be taking this one. You're not getting rid of this anomaly. Who's Who are this? you? Who am I? My name is Toe B. Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Toe, what are you doing here? And I know what y'all are after. You want to put an end to all these anomalies, but us, we got a different idea. Us? We think... If we let these anomalies run a little wild, maybe we can build a completely different world, a better one. So you're not getting your hands on this painting today. I don't know. This painting doesn't seem to really be doing anything that's good or bad. Yeah, you're just going to have a slightly ruder world. It's, yeah. It's part of a larger picture. I wouldn't expect small minds like you to understand. He says as he picks up a red solo my, cup. Can I ask? My mind is <laughs> above average and takes a sip can out of it. Can I ask a, a game question? Yeah. Uh, when are we, what act are we in? This is the beginning of act three. Okay, um, I'm just, I, I wanted to be sure. So before you can do anything, Toe B. Keith takes the painting and flips it behind him. Oh. Where two other liars Whoa. Uh, who are waiting just out the window, snag it out of the air as it falls and they get into a car and begin racing away. What are their names? What are their names? Yes. Their names are, of course, and I already had them in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, Dahl <laughs> Eparton <laughs> is one of them, uh -huh. and, um, and 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 John Ikash. <laughs> you got Dahl Eparton and John Ikash. You yeah, got yeah. such strange names. Well, you're all from the same you know future where name naming conventions were different. Lo like, lots of names start with E. Like Will future. E Nelson. Will yeah. E Nelson. Yeah. 
It's like kind of saying like you're of the Nelson family. Yeah. You're E. Nelson. You're an ele electronic Nelson. Yeah. Okay, so they are dr already driving? They, they've they immediately got in the car and begun speeding away. Um, so now we're in act three and things in act three are a little different. Mainly in that the dice are all now boosted. Whoa. Boosted. Boosted. So anything you're good at, the dice are gonna go up. You're gonna, if you would've rolled a D8, you'll roll a D10 now. If you would have rolled a d6, you roll a d8 now. So you're better at everything, essentially. Uh, um, but they've gotten in the car and they're speeding away and you have to decide how to pursue them. So they're already in a car? And they're speeding away. And, and she's calling a cab. <laughs> and she's speeding away. And she's speeding away. I can run fast. Um, I have electronics slash machine repair slash masonry. I could do something to the road. Or if it's an electric vehicle. If I can catch up with them, I can sow confusion and make them crash. Uh, ooh, ooh, I, can I tell a lie? <laughs> yes, okay. Papa. Yes, yes, Papa. Papa. Um, the, uh, the construction that is happening near the museum. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's no one working there right now, but there's no. a lot of, there's a lot of heavy equipment and um oh wouldn't you know it the other day <laughs> it's the darndest thing it's the darndest thing would you believe would you believe that um that that one of the uh the, the person who operates the the big the the bulldozer mm -hmm. um he he was just about to to take the keys out and put on the parking brake when he he noticed the um the the snake performer uh out, out the window back to the snake. Uh -huh. and yeah. he and he was so excited to see that he's a huge fan and he was so excited <laughs> to see the snake performer that right. he just he just forgot to 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 shut off to to to, to put it to put the parking brake on that uh, makes so on much the sense. bulldozer and so it's just this whole time it's been slowly rolling down uh this like mound of dirt that it's parked on okay and as as the car started it 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 jostled it jostled it just enough to start rolling uh into the street to block the car's path okay i love that um you're gonna tell a lie but this one's is pretty elaborate yes. <laughs> A lot of moving parts yes. to this one. Yeah, literally. So I would say um, this is going to be a a hard lie. A hard lie. So the, the best you can do, um, well, I guess you can roll a d8 because oh, um, I'm boosted. Because you're boosted. Yeah. You're base boosted. Yeah, I'm, I'm boosted. And my lies are boosted. But you do have to beat a five or six. Okay. To not take damage. I'm probably going to take damage. I haven't taken any damage. I, sh I deserve some damage. Oh, that's a five. Okay, so. so much like as has happened previously, when you tell oh. the lie, you feel this feedback like something is repelling you, and you can see um, from the car, Doll E. Parton has both of her hands raised, and she's doing something. She's lying. She's reverse lying. Oh. Whoa. Um, oh she's speaking God. the truth to the universe uh, yeah. in a way that is repelling your lie, but your lie still goes through. Okay. But not without some pain. Um. So that happens. The bulldozer, dozer, <laughs> the bulldozer, <laughs> the bulldozer rolls uh, down the hill, and and as it does, the construction worker who was looking at the snake charmer still <laughs> whips around and he goes, "No, no!" And um, his, his, he's gonna lose his job over this for sure. Um, and he's got a family to feed too, so <laughs> it's really unfortunate, but. Pretty I'm big mistake. So glad you included that detail. <laughs> in the in the twenty first century, the social safety net was, uh, <laughs> was not very good, and so no. losing a job could be devastating for a, a person, especially if they had a family. That's so, so true. <laughs> Moment of silence. So That's the bulldozer true. rolls into the road, and um, the the driver of the car, who was John E. Cash. Uh, swerves swerves the car at the last second and it collides sideways into the bulldozer oh. and um, all three of them kind of stumble out of the car a little bit dazed um, but they're also uh, ready for ready for a fight 
Um, so you're down there um, facing off against them uh, for this for the safety of the painting. Okay. Can What's I sow your move? Confusion? Is your time? Is it your time, Karina? To how, sow confusion? How will you sow confusion? Um, I'm gonna get them so riled up that they're gonna lose track of who has the painting and just like get all crazy and like just forget about the painting because they're so busy trying to figure out who has the painting. It's like okay. when you like forget where your phone is and it's in your pocket. And you're like patting everything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How are you gonna do that? I just. <laughs> I just yell. <laughs> Holy shit, where's the painting? <laughs> okay, I love that. That's really good. Um, that's going to be a hard a hard what? challenge cuz they could just not believe you, but you're boosted, but you're so boosted, it's a D10. So you can roll a D10 about it. Okay. What do I have to roll? You have to beat a five or a six. Uh. A seven. Ah! <laughs> so you you yell, holy shit, where's the painting? And they immediately start looking around. Because they're um, dazed. Because they're dazed. Yeah. Uh, Toby Keith is still holding the painting. <laughs> but he like forgets that <laughs> he's he, holding he the painting. he gets so confused about how genuinely confused you sound. It's like yeah. when you are looking on your cell phone and trying to find your cell phone. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I, yeah. I like join them in like padding around and then I use my sleight of hand to take the painting. Nice. Okay, you're gonna have to give me a, a sleight of hand roll. Uh, um, and this would also be hard. Why would it be hard? Because he's holding on to it. So like <laughs> if you pull something away from someone, they're instinctively gonna grip it. <laughs> but he's confused. That's a, a natural 10. Wow. Oh. wow. <laughs> really good sleight of hand. Correct. So they're, they're tapping around, looking for the painting. And then when Toby Keith looks back, the painting is gone from him. And all of you are also gone. None of you are around anymore. Because uh, you've already started rushing through the construction site uh, to try and make it out of the anomalous zone, the nice. improbability zone, to escape. Um, so they're in pursuit of you as you're running out. I would like just one more. How are you going to get free of them while they're chasing you and okay. escape before they can catch you? I would like to tell one more lie. One yes, more I'm lie high. and the greatest lie of all. Um, so remember just just a few minutes ago, when I said I released all of the pigeons and the snake. I remember that. I kept one of the pigeons. Oh, you're <laughs> lying to the past about the pigeons. Yes. Okay. Um, I would say that's an average lie. Okay, but I am injured. Yeah, so roll the D8 and also the um, the injury die. Okay. Make sure, yeah, you got the D8. That's a seven and no injury face. So you have one of the pigeons with you in your coat. You kept it the whole time. I whisper, fly my prince. And I send the pigeon back to distract them. <laughs> A single <laughs> pigeon? <laughs> yeah. This one pigeon? This one pigeon. All right, well, I'm going to that, need... I'm just... Uh, that's, you know, you, you guys could do stuff too. Yeah, um... I, I think it'd be fun for everyone to do something. So we'll have the pigeon go. Yeah. Um, and we each get one guy. <laughs> and Julia, what are you going to do to... To help yourself, help yourselves get away. How close are they behind us? I would say they're like, you know, thirty feet with a pigeon <laughs> flapping around their faces. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, hold on. Give me one second. And you're in the construction site also, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Da -na 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 -na. Construction site. I think I have just the thing. A yeah. card? Yeah. What the does card it say? The card is called just the, uh, oh, it's just called the just thing. thing. It's just the thing. Yeah. You want to read it? Uh, sure. Just the thing. You, you planned. <laughs> That's oh, not just I spilled all my dice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, you dropped the pen, Nathan. Nathan. 
Oh no, you're oh. the one. Oh no. Oh, oh my god. Oh god. Oh gosh. <laughs> I'm in suspense. If only we had a table to play tabletop <laughs> role playing games on. Can you imagine? Maybe in the future. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, so Julia, or should I say Timma? Mm -hmm. Timma has just the thing. You planned for this contingency. You produce one useful object that you could have been carrying on your person that helps with the current situation. So you've had something on your person the whole yeah, time. and that thing is... And what is it? Um, I think it's pigeon feed. It's pigeon feed? And I yeah! throw it behind me <laughs> in like a big... So it's either like I've made the ground the slippery, but also more pigeons come in. From out... From inside the building from and you inside. know what follows the pigeons the, the snake. snake and you know what follows the snake <laughs> the snake handler yeah and you know what follows the snake handler the construction guy the construction guy who's the fan of the snake handler yeah, yeah. and you know who else is in this crowd Debus. because i play my card revelation <laughs> oh revelation <laughs> you reveal a turn in the story of your own something involved in the mission that has uh some was not as it appeared and <gasps> since i'm a schemer it's the identity i can change someone's identity and it's that devis was a badass all along yeah oh, he's sprinting like a terminator run and citizen arrest the three of them <laughs> because Dang, they were Divis. chasing me devis runs in <laughs> he has a, a katana yeah <laughs> two katanas he has two and katanas. one of them is Red. <laughs> One of them is red, the other is black. One of them's in his mouth. <laughs> he has three katanas. He has three katanas! He had them all along in the bathroom. He flips out and he says, I will not allow you to lay a hand on a visiting curator from another establishment. That's me. It is my duty as intern. Go fellow intern. Just going to yell to Debus when I see him. And, and Debus apprehends all three of them single-handedly. Yeah, with his katanas. With his katanas. As the three of you uh, rush from the construction site back onto the street and outside of the improbability zone just in time to be zapped back up to the SS Dalmatian <laughs> and to safety. Yay! Uh, and you've made it! And as soon as you do, the improbability zone goes away like it never existed. Wow. <laughs> it's just a bunch of pigeons. It's just a bunch of pigeons and snakes and, snakes and, and katanas. <laughs> and normal paintings. Yeah, That's beautiful. Wow. Uh, amazing work, squad. <laughs> you work together. You, you brought back narrative elements from the beginning to the end. We love to see it. Here you go, the devil. Here is your story. Here is your story like for you. Give us a good rating on Goodreads. Thank you, <laughs> Satan. So once again, this stream was sponsored by Monty Cook Games, the makers of Stealing Stories for the Devil. I'm going to uh, do this again. Yeah. I also have and some you, short things to read. Can you hide all of our yeah, name tags? Yeah, let me hide tags. all of the name tags. I have some, some short points to read for everyone. Yeah, please. Uh -huh. um, just to go over the game again, it's a zero prep role-playing game. Uh, it's played in three acts called The Briefing, The Heist, and The Turn. Uh, it's great for playing with people who don't necessarily play role-playing games. As you saw for us, it was very little setup. Karina doesn't really play role-playing games, so you saw how, how easy it was for Karina. Mm -hmm. uh, and for me, who only has medium-ish um, interaction with it, and uh, Nathan, who plays them quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, and it was fun for all of us. Yeah. Um, it, <laughs> I like this line because it is true. Um, usually it starts off trying to be cool and sexy James Bond slash Odin's Eleven, um, and rapidly descends into the Muppet movie, which yep. it truly became sicking <laughs> pigeons on some people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it can be played just as a normal heist, but with an overarching sci-fi plot if you want to play through it. Um, it comes with like a bunch of maps. We didn't even show off the maps that it came with in the box. Yeah, there were a lot um, of things in the box that you didn't even show. Yeah, should I grab? Yeah, the I would maps? grab some of those maps. Um, they're super cool. So yeah. if you're worried about like, you know, I can't with the really sheets. Oh yeah. yeah. I'm if you're like, this. I can't really think of like, I'm not good at settings or whatever. They have a bunch of suggestions for you. Yeah, it's a super well fleshed out um, mm -hmm. world and story that you can use as much or as little of as you want yeah yeah it's got really cool lore and there actually is um if you're the dm there's a separate book for you um that talks about the overarching plot 
Mm -hmm. So if you want, if you have like a group you can play with regularly, you can actually get like an ongoing narrative. There's like all sorts of intrigue and stuff that you can yeah. get into that I didn't touch on here, um, since we're just doing the one. But yeah, look at, look at, <laughs> look at. They have so many. Oh, oh my shit. god! Look at all these how many? Wow. And this is double sided. These pages. You could do so <laughs> many heists. Double sided. We got hotel ground floor, hotel second floor. Oh my god. So it's like a whole resort. <laughs> you don't even need to think of a whole building. This like, yeah, good. I hate thinking. And if if you don't like the sci-fi elements, you Hospital. can also just run this game as just a heist yeah. Uh, RPG yeah. if you want. Like we yeah. well. And um oh Jacob. <laughs> can all maybe, be named after country singers. Yeah. Maybe show off these like our cheat sheets for the characters yeah. to like show how easy it is to make Make yeah, characters level, like level it's one so sheet. fast. Yeah, yeah. To give yeah. some, to let someone make a character, you just need to show them this one sheet, and then like it's got it tells you everything to do. Yeah. And you, we, they made their characters in like probably like ten minutes. Yeah, we sat yeah. on the couch start to finish. It. it was and, after um, we recorded like two episodes of Drawing. Yeah, so and we were also tired. our brains were mush, <laughs> and we still had time to watch anime. Yeah, we yeah. sure did. So what? What more could yeah. you want? Yeah. yeah. So thank you again so much to Monty Cook Games because this was a legitimately very fun game to play yeah. and was like, again, so easy to set up. I was worried that it was going to take Jacob like the whole day to set this stream up, but it didn't take that long. No. Yeah. And it was they, just really they good. also have a, um, I found today on their YouTube channel, they have a very short um, like play session. Oh. It's like a really tightly edited short 17 minute example of play. Mm -hmm. um, it's got Erika Ishii in it. Ooh. Um, and you can, so you, if you, if you want to run it or play it, you can watch that and basically know exactly yeah. what you're doing. You can so. just watch what we did. Or you can watch this too, yeah. but it's a lot longer and worse. Well, surely someone <laughs> can edit it down someday. <laughs> yeah, um, but thank you again for Monty Cook Games uh, for sponsoring this yeah. stream and for sending us this amazing game. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, what a treat. And if you want to catch the VOD of this, it's on Drafty Extra as always. You can go watch it there. You might be watching it there right <gasps> now. You Did might you be. like it? I've lied to the past. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and the link for the game has been in true. chat all all stream, but if yeah. you want to see it again, exclamation point game, um, and Moobot will tell you. And if you're watching the VOD, I'm sure <laughs> it will be in the description. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, and thank you everyone for watching us play this very fun game. Yeah. And I'm sorry we don't have a better setup for TTRPGs. I <laughs> someone, know it's, it's someone we said, do. how are y'all sponsored but couldn't afford a table? Which I is know, very it's, funny. It's weird to have us all looking the same direction. But I am looking at their faces. Yeah. I got, yeah. A big, I got the camera up big so I can look at I'm everyone's face. I'm looking at you, face. chat. You're yeah. welcome. Listen, this is how we record Draw Detective, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's the it's best we got right very, now. We're very used to it. And also, yeah, it's the best we got right now. Yeah. All right. I well, thanks again. Good. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I would All play right, this everyone. again. I I would too. Maybe we will. Maybe we can bring back our characters. Bring back the characters for another heist. Yes, wow. Timma. <laughs> Taylor. Timma will. <laughs> <laughs> and we can finally. I hope we meet Toe again. Yeah. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye. We're sorry. Bye. Sorry.